hi all welcome back to coding world so coding world uh, on coding world channel we usually put the technical video so right now i am working on the system design related videos so i am i have created one separate play playlist for the system design video where uh, till now i have uploaded more than seven system related uh, problems so like it contains database scaling then optimistic versus pessimistic locking then rate limiter unique id generator and i have recently up uploaded the tiny urls and uh, load balancer also so it uh, and the wave crawler so you guys can visit these videos for more detailed uh, architecture discussion on this system concept i also have uploaded the uh, deployment related the stuff so here i have i have explained how to create the spring uh, full full application using a front end as a front end as angular and the back end as a spring boot so and deploy that project on a dedicated tomcat so this is a very nice video so you can have a look into that for full deployment of your applications also i have uploaded the lead code problems and some spark related problem so in today we are going to see one more problem of the system design which is a how to design notification system so let's jump to that uh, video and uh, we'll see detailed explanation of the how to create the system system design for the push notification okay so we are going to look into the notification system and in this system this is an interesting problem because in every system nowadays we are getting sms notification then android notification or push notification and also message sms notification so to design every system we need to consider this uh, major problem uh, major system design concept while designing your uh, enterprise application or the uh, desktop application so this today in this video we are going to look into detail architecture how detail high level and low level designing of the notification system side by side we will see the reliability cap concept with the for the notification system also so if you see this in this we are able to see there there are three types of notification we generally saw and in this video also we are considering this three notifications like one is a push notification which comes on up your mobile phone which can be your android or ios so and the second will be a sms where we use a third party sms provider like a twilo and the next one. so and the third one is like a email so you might you might go get the emails from the particular sites if when you subscribe or you, when you give the email id details to those sites so we are going to see about uh, high level and low level designing of the all these three concepts in next few slides okay let's jump to the system design architecture so like before going to jump into the system design you have to ask uh, uh, as many as questions uh, as many as possible questions so you will get the good idea about what you are going to design and what uh, what concept what context you should be consider while designing the your notification system so you can ask what types of notification does the system provide supports so interviewer might uh, you might tell that it should be a sms it should be a push notification mobile push notification and email notification so we can ask next question is it is it a real time system so there can be a delay or it can be a hourly basis or daily basis uh, daily basis push notification so the, this will clarify how to support your system to, for a real time what are the supported devices so are we pushing to the desktop also mobile also so you have to uh, or if some user have multiple users so are we going to consider all those systems so these types of question you have to ask 
what triggers notification so when you are going to trigger notification will user able to opt out so if you are sending multiple messages to same user he can be a or claim with that and he can opt for the your not your notifications so that for if he is opted you you should not send the same notification to that user so that can be a that should be a consider while designing the system and how many notification are sent out each day that is a rate limiter we have to be considering system so let's uh, jump into the system design with all this uh, clarification and we will start with the high level design yeah so we will this is the basic uh, this is a basic entry point where you have to propose high level design and uh, uh, go deep and deep okay so this will be our high level design like i will consider ios push notification there will be a provider so there will be a one service micro service will be running and which will be a push notification to the app notification service apple notification service and that will find out user all user detail and its device detail and to those devices it will send to the notification this is our high level design now we will split all this part into a multiple component and we will go in a deep okay so android push notification so android push notification we can send using a, a firebase cloud messaging then for messages sms we as i told in uh, our first discussion which is a twilio and the nexum nexum these are the third party vendors which provide the sms services to the uh, client so if you are application and you want to, to send sms to your application you can use the twilio notification service they provide the rest rest apis and uh, if you hit also they have provided jdk using those you can hit to their services and you can send the messages email providers you you will send to the email service and the email service will send the message to the respective email ids in bulk okay let's jump to the like while before sending messages you have to gather the information okay whom to send that information and that information if you see in this slide user whenever user get log into their application from the your computer or your or your mobile it will be uh, all those information will be stored into your uh, api servers api api server will store that information to the db and this will be used while sending the notification now jump to the high level designing so high level designing in this your services are there which are producing notifications and that notification will be redirected to the notification service system and this notification system will gather all the contact information for the customer it will create the it will build the message and that message will be sent to the apn uh, which is our major uh, apple push notification service and then firebase cloud messaging sms service and email service so all those info all those messages in with the specific format will be built and sent to this services and from that services they will push that notification to the your devices now we will we will split this notification system into uh, multiple parts so it will it should be a reliable it should be a it then uh, if messages sending is failed you should be a retry all those will be done by the our next system process so if you see this when system service one sent message to the notification service it will create the notification message notification template in specific format for that it needs user details like he needs uh, device token id he needs like a email id a mobile number name all those information it will take from the cache if we will use the cache to reduce the db heat and it will speed up your process so once that message will be created that will be pushed into the your queue why we are using queue so if your notification service is creating multiple messages which are greater which are higher than you are consuming so in that case you can push that message to the queue 
and even if your workers which are pulling messages from the queue and put it and uh, sending that to the api if that this service by chance get a fail the your message will not lost because it will be in a queue and when this workers come up it will start pulling messages from the queue if if he fails to send that message to the your api server then it will put that message back to the your queue so in this will be in this way you will be having the confidence that your all messages will be provided even it is fail it will be retried okay then next what we will see what kind of message structure will be okay so if you see this this is a message which you are your notification service is putting into the queue and from queue worker is sending to the your apn or fcm so if you see here the two is there from is there subject will be there and the content will be there this is a simple json file where you are putting into the queue and that will be pulled from the by the worker okay so let's how to prevent the data loss so you have to have reliability as i told if you are uh, in previous our slide if your server workers fail to send a message it will be put back into the queue and this way you can uh, achieve the reliability or else we can do have the notification login so for through logging you will be able to see that which message has been failed why it has been failed and when it has been retried okay then additional component and consideration which we should consider while designing the system notification template why we have to uh, use the template because it will reduce your uh, time while creating the message if you have if you already have a uh notification template even you need to just replace those value with the respective value and need to send that message so it will speed up your process and it will be a structured way of sending the message okay notification setting user id and uh, what what field should be considered while creating your schema it should be a user id in begin to uh, channel where care which channel you are using push notification email id sms opt in which should be a which is a important field while sending the sms if it is opted in then you will send or if it is opted out we will not send okay then additional is rate limiting this is a main problem Uh, most of people don't follow this okay we can limit number of notification a user can receive this is important because receiver could turn off notification completely if we send out often too often okay retry mechanism as i told in previous we should be having a retry mechanism security in a push notification app key and app secret are used to secure push notification apis because that is a rest api and if rest rest api is uh, open open to all you all people can send those messages so you have to be a app key and secret with a your https service okay https service call monitor and queue notification so metrics you have to be a uh, use while monitor the your performance which system how many notification is sending all those detail will be monitored and this is a event tracking if we start sending messages where it is a pending then it will be sent if it is error we will put that back into the pending if it is deliver and if it is click and if it is unsubscribe so all this event tracking should be a keep in mind while designing the system design according to that you will handle the flow of your messages okay so let's put all those things in together and uh, uh finalize our system okay so in this system service system service will send my notification message here notification service we are adding authentication and rate limiter extra to make our service a secure we have the cache and a db for our speed up process for the user uh, details lookup okay once you created the template message then it will be sent to the 
your notification service notification queue from queue worker will uh, worker will bring out all those details it will be check for the notification template and from notification template it will replace all the files all the detail and it will finalize our notification message while sending that notification message to apn server it will log those into the notification service so you will able to uh, get all information when you are troubleshooting or debugging then if it is sent then uh, send back to the analytic service so you will be analyzing how many messages to which server which customer you are sending which server service how many those analytic steps will be done in, in analytic service and if it is fail we will put back into the our queue so guys this is a this is a deep uh, designing of the notification service so each and every component you can uh, code for that you can design and you can uh, code for this and you can send those link to the me so i will mention those into my videos and i will i also will start next series where i will uh, start coding or start implementing those service in using our languages so this is it guys for notification service you can uh, if you like this video and if you interested more interested in system design stuff please subscribe my channel and like my videos thank you